Today we're asking the big question. Is the upcoming iOS 18 and iPhone 16 set to be Apple's most groundbreaking update yet? So, we've seen companies like Google and Samsung really pushing AI in their devices. It's impressive, but it makes us wonder, what's Apple's game plan here? Let's take a trip down memory lane to 2011, the year Siri was introduced. It was a game changer then, but today, well, it's a bit of a different story. Everyone's worried about losing their jobs to AI, but the only person that should really lose their job is Siri. Siri, AI is coming for your job. And okay, Siri no longer answers a math question with St. Nicholas Day, like she used to 10 years ago, but it's still trailing behind Google Assistant and Samsung's Bixby in understanding context and executing tasks. But don't lose hope just yet. Apple's gearing up to revolutionize Siri with advanced generative AI. While Microsoft and Google are pretty vocal about their AI ventures, Apple has been more low-key. But did you know, as per Quartz.com, Apple has acquired 21 AI startups since 2017. That's nearly double what Microsoft or Meta have. But why is Apple quiet about it? Tim Cook himself said at the Worldwide Developers Conference, as you know, we tend to announce things as they come to market. That's our MO and I'd like to stick to that. Of course, what everyday users want to know is whether Siri will be getting an AI upgrade, and they certainly appear to be working on it, with the Financial Times reporting that Apple is hiring dozens of researchers and engineers to work on compressing existing language models so they can run efficiently on mobile devices rather than in the cloud. And there's a simple reason behind that. Apple's commitment to privacy means they prefer to process everything on device, a strategy that could limit rapid AI advancements, but also aligns with their privacy-first stance. We've set new industry standards for data minimization, user control, and on-device processing for everything from location data to your contacts and photos. But this privacy focus comes with challenges. AI features require lots of computing power to be effective. This is why some of the AI features of the new Samsung Galaxy S24 are done on device, while some require an internet connection. Things like summarizing notes and articles, formatting text, or image generation are all based on Google Cloud. And okay, it's not like this data is public and anybody can access your notes or photos, but still, it goes out to the cloud where it can be intercepted and deciphered. This is why you should be using CyberShield VPN, the sponsor of today's video. No, I'm kidding. I'm not sponsored, so if you want to support me, you can just click a like or leave a comment. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. So uh, where was I? Ah, your data stays on your device. This is why the new Smart Siri might be exclusive to newer devices, which are expected to have hardware chops for such heavy lifting. Some chips in iPhone 14 Pros and the 15 lineup already have some cores dedicated for Neural Engine. Apple's got this unique edge, they control both hardware and software. This could allow them to fully integrate sophisticated AI capabilities directly into their devices. But even though Apple's CPUs are crazy fast, are they ready to release it this year with the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro? Some experts remain skeptical. According to Apple's supply chain analyst, Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple is unlikely to offer more comprehensive generative AI features until the iPhone 17 series launches next year, at the earliest. He recently shared some news about how Apple's iPhone might do in 2024, and it looks like there might be a bit of a hiccup in sales. He's checked out what's happening with Apple's plans and noticed they're expecting to send out about 200 million iPhones next year. That sounds like a lot, but it's actually 15% less than what they did before. A big reason for this drop is that iPhone sales in China aren't doing too hot right now, with a 30-40% to fall compared to last year. Quo's also saying that both the iPhone 15 and the upcoming iPhone 16 series might see their numbers go down by 10-15% to in the first and second half of 2024. He thinks this slump is because of a couple of big challenges, including changes in what people are looking for in top-end phones, and the fact that sales in China keep dipping. 
Looking forward to iPhone 16 that's supposed to come out later this year, Kuo isn't expecting any big wow factors in terms of design or brand new features based on artificial intelligence until maybe 2025. But hey, take Kuo's words with a grain of salt. There are whispers and rumors flying around that the iPhone 16 is going to bring some pretty cool stuff to the table, like a special button just for taking pictures and bigger screens. And even though Kuo seems a bit down on the idea of Apple not bringing in some fancy AI features this year, other reliable folks like the team at Bloomberg are hinting that Apple's got some significant AI tricks up its sleeve for iOS 18 coming this fall. According to Mac Garman, the upcoming operating system could be one of the most significant iOS updates in Apple's history. He even mentioned the new operating system is seen within the company as one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in company's history. And hey, if we finally get a useful version of Siri with this update, it could easily become the best iOS version ever. I mean, who wouldn't love a Siri that actually understands what we're saying and gets things done? Plus, Apple is now pushing the Vision Pro headset, a device that relies heavily on gestures, eye tracking, and voice commands, as it doesn't have a hardware keyboard or mouse built in. So it seems like we're stuck with this old Siri for at least another year. So what else might be in store with the iOS 18? Samsung's Galaxy S24 has set a high bar with features like live translation and transcript assist. I believe that recent iPhones are powerful enough to manage such tasks just as well. Imagine AI-generated playlists in Apple Music, or automatic slide creation in Keynote. Plus, Apple could announce changes to Xcode where developers could generate code on the fly. So what's my take? Apple's not in a rush. They are known for not being first, but aiming to be the best. As they navigate the challenges of AI integration, the future of Siri and Apple's AI initiatives look bright. They have the potential to redefine the digital assistant world. But will they surprise us with a transformative AI approach? Only time will tell. Thanks for tuning in. Most of you are not subscribed, and I get that, it's a new channel. But if you're still here, chances are that you enjoyed this video, so give it a like. I will then pop up in your feed once or twice with my upcoming uploads and then you'll decide if you like this kind of content or not. Anyway, have an awesome day. Until next time. Bye.